it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? Mommy Tang, we know you love Asian food and you're all about Asian food. But is there any way that you could maybe try some other food other than Asian? You know, I mean pasta, pizza, you know, and stuff like that. Those are not Asian, but I eat them regularly. But I was thinking, what do I not eat regularly? Probably food from Middle East, Arabic food. I've never had that before. I've never. And believe it or not, I got a lot of requests saying, Mommy Tang, please eat Arabic food. I said, sure, no problem. Except, I don't know how to make it. So I needed some help. Now, we have a babysitter. Well, hey, the friend slash babysitter, you know, because we do have four kids, but also, when you hire a babysitter, you have to trust them, don't you? Like, I'm not gonna just go out there and say, hey, can you babysit while we, like, you know, go out and have fun? You know, we have about four or five babysitters, I think, because just in case one can't make it, then, you know, just in case weddings or something special is there that we need a babysitter you know i oh i'm always with my kids so unless they're like with their grandparents or something like that i feel a little icky like oh i don't know if i want to you know not that i don't trust them but i kind of don't trust myself not trusting them do you know what i mean yeah i'm very weird that way i mean i got a lot better now that i have four because i do need some time off with the kids and just maybe you know time with daddy tang but <laughs> When I had Jaden and Kayla, like, oh my god, me and Daddy think we used to fight over that. We're like, I'm not going anywhere without my kids. And he was like, yes, we are. We're like, no, we're not. <laughs> that was a little crazy. So when we decided to look for babysitters, I was like, okay, she needs to have this and like this and like this and like that. Like, it was almost like a job interview, you know? And I was like, Daddy Tang would be like, how about this? But I was like, no, 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 I can't. Sorry, sorry. I was really picky. My first time I was out with Daddy Tang, left the kids with the babysitter. This is before Peyton was born. I could not enjoy what I was doing. My mind was totally at home with the kids and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my God, what if, what if, what if, you know? So after that experience, I was like, I need to find somebody that I trust. So when I go out, I have fun without thinking all this crazy stuff, you know? So, we found her. Well, we didn't find her, but you know, like we've known her for a long time, so I trust her already. So I was like, can you? And she was like, sure. So now when we go out, you know, we call her all the time. But I figured, I thought of her and said, oh my God, this is the perfect way for me to try out Arabic food because I feel like she knows a little bit about that. You'll see why. Are you ready to meet her? Ta-da! Tell me who you are! Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Tenge, Tenge! <laughs> my name is Miriam, and I'm with my friend here. We're gonna be cooking today. <laughs> I, I told them I already the story. Like, I've known you for almost 10 years, right? How yeah. long have you known um, Daddy Tang? Longer? Oh yeah, because since I was like a little girl, I had to be like eight. Yeah, and she well, she's pretty young, but what do you do? Tell us what you do for a living. Well, I work at a school, like a preschool, so I'm the lead teacher for the infant class. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. that's perfect, you know, she's, <laughs> you know. So what are we cooking today? Today we're going to be cooking koshri. It's a very traditional Egyptian meal. Oh my gosh, okay, is it good? Yeah, it's good, very savory. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's so much, so much flavor in it, everything. Mm -hmm. So what do we need? What's the, what's the main ingredient for this? Well, I would say, um, well, the main ingredient would be rice. Mm -hmm. Yes, the rice. So much flavor in the rice. Yeah. And? And our macaroni. Mm -hmm. This is just regular, any macaroni and? And brown lentils. Yeah, so this is like the basic, I mean, like the base of the dish, right? Yes. And then well, I'm sure they know, some of them they know. Okay, I'm just the dummy here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have a heat on medium high. What do we do next? Well, how I watched my dad make the rice when I was little. Well, he's Egyptian. So How many sisters do you have? Tell them, tell them. Oh my goodness. How many? Sisters. 
It's six of us, but I have five sisters. <laughs> six of us. Yeah, five sisters. Wait, six, seven of you though. Yeah, I have one brother. Yeah, too. one brother. Six girls, one brother. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do here? It's your rice. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in a pan. All right. Gotta show them the oil. Just so yeah, this is olive oil. Usually you can use um butter too, mm -hmm. but olive oil I think it's just it's healthier. You know, it's not as bad. unless it's vegan butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little I bit of oil. I never cook my like you know Asians never cook their rice with oil, but this is so interesting. So and then we have rice. Well, I just don't know. To coat the bottom of the pan, and you just want to spread the oil around. Yeah, I think I have like what two three cups here. Yeah, yeah. We have about two to three cups of rice, and then we'll just add it to the oil. And now she's my good friend, but she's no chef. You guys have to understand <laughs> that, right? She's okay. Do you cook a lot? Or honestly, your parents cook for you. Um. Well, growing up, my parents cooked for me. Mm -hmm. And then when I was like in high school, I cooked a few dishes. Yeah, so. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so next we'll just add some salt, we'll add some pepper. Oh, salt and pepper salad. Yeah. Some salt, some pepper, just, you know, to your flavor. Mm-hmm. Like to your liking. Yeah, that's good. Just the pinch. Because we're going to add so many other spices. Okay. So we don't want to overload it with salt and okay. pepper. Okay. Uh, good? Right. All then right. we'll have the cumin. No, I do I have cumin. You said you had the um the cumin powder, not the seeds. Okay, Miriam told me to get a cumin, but I forgot to buy it. It's all my fault. But you want to put some cumin in here, right? Right. My fault. My fault. Okay. And and what? And then we have ground coriander seeds. If you want to get the whole seeds, that's okay too. Okay, how much? Just about a half a teaspoon. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we're also going to add the cardamom seeds. Now we have the ground seeds, but you can also get the whole seeds of that too. I couldn't find it. I went to look for it. I was like, oh my, Miriam, I can't find it. Oh, is that, you think that's good? Yeah. Woo! That's good. That smells, that smells awesome. It's almost like, oh, I like this. You know what? Let's just put a little bit more coriander. The other coriander? one. Coriander? Okay. Just because we put a lot of that too. I think she knows what she's doing, guys. I don't know. All right. that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I think the cumin is probably gonna give more flavor, but like I said, oh, sorry. And then we have our cinnamon sticks. Now you can put the cinnamon sticks in either before you put the rice, mm -hmm. um, just by soaking it in the oil and then taking it out, mm -hmm. or after you put the water in, you can put the cinnamon sticks in. Don't leave it in there while the rice is cooking all the way. But we'll take it out after the water starts to boil a little bit, just so that rice gets the cinnamon flavor. Just for the flavor. You know what I think though? If You know how we use the grind, um, the seasoning or yeah. the pepper? If we use the whole thing, I think it would have been really like authentic, you think? Yeah. Right. Okay, so how much water? All right, so we'll just put enough water to cover the top of the rice. And a little bit more. More? Yeah. It's only fire. Wait. Yeah, a little bit more. More? We want to cover the top of the rice with water so that you don't lose the rice. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to put the heat on medium high. Medium high. It smells so nice already. This is how you cook rice every day? Yeah, this is how I cook rice. Well, I don't use all the spices. Usually I use um, salt and pepper. And then, you know, like if you uh, like have a stock or something like a vegetable stock or whatever, instead of using regular water, you can use your stock water to give it more flavor. Hey, you can smell here. It smells so nice. It smells like vanilla almost. Not vanilla, but like, oh my like dessert. Yeah. It does smell like dessert. Okay. Right? Peppy wants to smell. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so we'll just put the lid on the rice and then we'll leave the heat on high until either the rice starts like until the water starts to boil a little bit or mm -hmm. until the rice starts to show and then we'll turn it down okay and then meanwhile in the kitchen we're going to cook some lentil and some pasta pasta you cook just the way you would cook pasta but yeah, yeah well, I thought boiled. pasta was very Italian thing I guess it's not well so yeah, is it like a fusion yeah. dish no because no? we use like uh, in Egypt we eat pasta too oh, never knew that Okay, so cook pasta and then yeah. lentils. How are we going to cook lentils? Just to show so the lentils, we'll just boil a pot of water as you would put the lentils in, you know, salt and pepper, your seasonings. And then when it's done boiling and it's fully cooked, you'll take it out and you'll just let it cool down a little bit. Oh, okay. Some lentil goes in here. 
think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Because I guess it depends on how much rice you have. Yeah. Just so it's all proportioned. You usually want to have more macaroni. Right. And then the rice on top with mm -hmm. the lentils and the sauce. Oh, and then we're going to go cook some lentils and some pasta in the kitchen. We'll be right back. Do you have to stir once in a while? I don't use The usually. rice, you don't usually do it? Okay, so we put it down when it starts boiling and then pick the cinnamon stick out, right? Yeah, well let's leave it in there while get some flavor. Oh really? Okay. Oh my god. Do you like kimchi, Maria? Do you eat kimchi? I do eat kimchi. You do? Well, I don't eat it like often. But I do like it. You do like it? I do like it. You know what I really like? The cucumbers that are in the red sauce. The cucumber kimchi. Mm -hmm. I just made that a couple days ago. <laughs> so now we're gonna make the sauce. Are you gonna chopping or should I chop? Okay, you do the chopping. <laughs> First, garlic, I guess. Yes. So for the sauce, we're just gonna use garlic, mm -hmm. a little bit of oil, um, vinegar, water, and salt and pepper. Okay. So um, why vinegar? Well, vinegar it gives it um, it gives it like a very specific taste. No, Does it, it have to be what makes it I a little have, bit bitter? I only have coconut vinegar though, is that cool? We can try it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Well, I've never had coconut vinegar. I don't know, I, I like it. I, that's what I use. Okay. Yeah. So, do you cut it or do you mince it? I don't know. I just do it like my dad takes the knife and he mashes it. Then oh. just, just, this is how Koreans do it. Like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy that I never really use um, garlic. I always use garlic powder, but not today. <laughs> She's making me work it. All right, so wait, we'll put the oil in first. Okay, wait, wait, let's turn it on first. Medium high? Yes, so now we'll just put enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan because that's what's going to cook in our garlic. Okay, some garlic. All right, and then we'll just stir it just so it cooks a little bit. And then what do we do with onions? Do I like. Well, the onions don't go in, um, not the red sauce. Where do they go? The onions go in the lentils. You can add oh. the onions in the lentils. <gasps> so I guess you forgot the onion and the lentils. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you could add in there. Sorry, so I guess it's too late because it's already cooking. Well, I mean, we can caramelize it, the onions. Yeah. And then you add the onions to the lentils, oh, like caramelized. Yeah. You could do that. We're going to skip that. So can we skip it? Yeah, we can totally skip it. <laughs> okay, we're skipping. And then you can really start to smell the garlic. I know. Like any? Any brand tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Guys, I am so excited, okay, because it's I'm always so eating my, already. you know, Korean food. And I'm like, today I have, I don't know why I never thought of this. I swear, I'm going to get everybody, all my friends here once in a while. <laughs> make them okay, cook I'm getting food like food. with garlic. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because you don't want your fire too high mm -hmm. because you risk oil getting popped at you. That's right. Here, put the whole thing. Um. Well, also it depends on how put like how much sauce you like on your macaroni. Please stop. Okay. Stop. Yeah. I like my I like enough sauce to go. Let's put a little bit more because I like enough sauce to, you know, go on the macaroni, the rice, and the lentils. Right, right. So just the whole thing. Yeah, might yeah. as well. And then we'll add a little bit of vinegar, I would say about a tablespoon, um, and then water. Oh, wow. And we'll cook all together. All right, see. Yeah. Let's see. All right, cool. There you go. I never, I never thought you could put vinegar in like sauces. Yeah, you know I mean? for vinegar, yeah. Yeah, and then what, what was the next one? Water. Water, you need water? Yeah. Just a little bit though, right? Yeah. All right. Oh. And pepper. Now, not many Egyptian, I guess. Your, your dad, Egyptian, right? Yes. And your mom is? No, my mom's American. American, okay. But it's all meat based, right? No one's really yeah, vegan. Yeah, really meat. No yeah. one's really, no <laughs> one's really vegetarian. <laughs> but I know, is, is it about like now the modern like, I don't, what do you think? Like even for Asians, a lot of them go vegan. Like not a lot, but a handful. Like well, I would say like even during Ramadan. Yeah. So meat is like a 
big part of Ramadan because you would use like especially in the summer mm -hmm. when we would fast for such a long day mm -hmm. at the end of the day you usually only have like one meal yeah so they would eat a lot of meat just to just so you know you could go over yeah do just so can you, you can you you think though there's I mean there's a lot of viewers though that do Ramadan and they're vegans so I don't know what they eat. Okay. So what's your trick? Because they actually asked, they actually told me, one of my viewers said, can you talk about that? I said, I don't do this, I don't know. But what's, do you have any trick how to like not cheat while you're doing How fasting? to not cheat? Yeah. Well, just know God is always watching you. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. <laughs> because they're like, oh, maybe you could eat something. I guess you eat meat, so you'll be full longer. So well, you because fast. meat um, takes a longer time to digest. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it usually keeps you fuller a little longer mm -hmm. and you know you need that like that hardiness so that's why yes. I think this is also like a great meal even though I'm not a vegan and I'm not a vegetarian this would right. still be a like a meal I would love because it has rice, it right. has pasta, it has the lentils right, and right. the sauce so right. you know you get everything yeah like I'm gonna try the sauce oh does it God. need more anything? Mm. no you try just stick finger it like um you would know but the vinegar does make it very different i would say maybe a little more garlic more garlic yeah see she knows she knows so miriam oh my gosh <laughs> oh my god we know when i'm gone when you have the kids right do they behave well oh my gosh we have so much fun i know that because they're like oh we love miriam we want her back again but do they behave That's yeah the they behave Who's like you the know, who's I'm like the worst to, like, one? My teacher, like my teacher, uh, impulses. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Because that's what I'm, I'm telling you. Because sometimes, you know what I mean. I'm just like I don't know if I, I like. Yeah, I don't really trust that many people. You know what I mean? But she's good. She's good. I trust her now with my food too. <laughs> Well, my sisters knew him first. Yeah, right, right. Because, um... Thraya! Are you watching Thraya? <laughs> you know, because I actually talked to your sister a lot. We used to go out a lot yeah, and I stuff. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, where are we? Here? On your teeth. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Wait. She's like a friend. You know, I have something on my tooth and she's like... <laughs> but anyway, oh, I'm so hot. But, uh, yeah. I used to go out with her sister a lot, her, your older sister, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then. Well, she, you guys knew her for. Yeah, we used to hang out all the time. time. I don't know what happened to her. What happened to her these days? What is she doing? What's well, she up she's, to? Is she working? She's, yeah, she's. um. That's what it is. A high school teacher. So. <gasps> she is? Yeah. I didn't know that. You know how tough that can be and how. Oh my god. Time consuming that can be. In like, in, where? In, in Philly? Yeah. I did not know that. I thought she was just like nursing or something like that. No, something. she's um the biology teacher. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Your dad did good, you know. <laughs> God, yeah. Oh, this is good too. Try that, try that. I know, I know, I think I know like what we're going. It actually tastes like there's meat in it, but there isn't. That's good. Right? Yeah. I think the yeah. vinegar makes it very like Well when it starts to boil, you're gonna wanna turn it just so it doesn't like, you know, burn. Yeah. Alright, and then I'm gonna go check up on my lentil and my pasta. I'll be right back. So how are we gonna plate this, Miriam? Yeah. Alright, so now our lentils are done cooking in the kitchen the macaroni right. is done but when the macaroni is done we're going to add a little bit of olive oil just so it doesn't stick together okay oh. we'll put a little bit in there stir it up oh. it kind of stuck together a little bit but yeah that's well, yeah, why that's you put the oil. oil yeah Let's see oh my goodness some salt do you guys use sea salt too or just whatever um so, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll put the macaroni down. Hello. Oh, looks good, looks good. Yeah. Then we're gonna put some rice. You guys, the rice smell amazing right now. Our house, it smells, look at what I did. Like, see this, oh. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The, just on the top, like yeah. so. And then, because you smell the cinnamon and oh you smell God. the curry, the all the other spices. <laughs> smells so good. I should add or more. Well, yeah, no, that's enough. That's, that's good. Enough. 
<laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> okay, and then so we're gonna put some lentil, right? Yeah. She added more spice. You added more spices, right? In yeah. Here? Well, I just added some salt, some pepper, and then a little bit of each spice that we put in the rice, except for the cinnamon. I did not put cinnamon in the lentils. Oh, more. Yeah, just oh. a little more. But you see how it's all like really hard. Like it's all really hearty. It's Woo. a really hearty meal. The vinegar. Ooh, remember the vinegar sauce? Like the vinegary. Yeah. Ooh. Did I get a little bit? So I just. I did just a little bit. Okay. Siren. Mm. Um, <laughs> gotta clean for the dry cleaning now. <laughs> There's a sauce. Yeah, and you just put the sauce on top. And that's it. There you have it. Oh my gosh, guys. Woo! Now, my question is though, you know Asians, well Koreans, well Asians, we use chopstick, right? What do you guys use? Just a fork. Fork? Yeah. Oh. Please, okay, I'm not sounding dumb or anything, but I'm just, <laughs> you know. You know, it looks some, cause some, so delicious. Cause some um, countries, they don't use fork. They just use their fingers, like Indians use their fingers. Yeah, well, you know what, if we don't um, use forks, a lot of times we use bread, like pita bread, oh. and you scoop it up with pita bread, oh, and you eat it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of our meals you can use, just use bread. And then what do you do? You just mix it, like this one? No, you just put it, pour it on and you eat it. I mean, if you what do you do? Is it, it like this? Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, I think the lentil is a little bit hard. What do you think? I think I should have cooked. We should have cooked a little bit, but we don't have time. Oh, how much do you want to stop? That's okay. enough. Okay. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is amazing. I'm so glad because I've never had, and you know, it's like the first experience is so important. <sighs> let's try, let's try. Mm! This is so good. Mm! It, it actually tastes oh like there's God. meat in there. This is so delicious. Mm! It's the red sauce. Mm! Oh my goodness. And, and see how it all just comes together? Like, I can't explain the taste. It's like, um, because you would think the pasta and the rice is too much mm -hmm. like, together, but it's... Oh my god, you put that here. Mm. Mm. Well... Mm. 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 The lentil, you know, that's the one that's going to keep you full, almost like meat. It's going to have mm -hmm. like protein and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. The carbs, which is rice and pasta, gets you happy. And the sauce is like... <gasps> Mmm. It looks good. Try it, try it. Mm -hmm. Try it. Try it. Here. It actually is really good. Look how Jaden. Mm -hmm. It's like pasta. <laughs> pasta. What? It's good, right? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. We did good. When I was buying the spices, like for the cinnamon, the coriander and stuff like that, because I don't use it on Asian cooking, mm -hmm. I will kind of be like, okay, I have to use two sticks. What am I going to do with the rest? I was kind of thinking about that, yeah. but I'll make this seriously again. Like, so many, oh my goodness, this is so good. Well, see, you know what I like about making dishes, um, mm -hmm. especially for the first time, mm -hmm. is that you know, like once you taste it, you know everything that you did. You know? Right, right, right. Like, you know what you need more of, you know what you need less of. And oh my God. And this is like very... It the second time is just... It's easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know how Koreans, we have rice then we have soup and we have all these like side dishes you know mm -hmm. you have Korean food right yeah so how would you guys eat it like would you have this and another dish or just eat this well you know what usually we'll have like a salad on the side oh. like a like an arab salad mm. yeah we should have done that <laughs> oh my god so i want to ask her about i was asking while we're cooking back there hijab i was asking about hijab like why she wears them or like you know actually i want to ask you like in a, you grew up in America though, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, when, to, when did you start wearing that though? Well, I started when I was in the third grade, so I was like eight or nine. Were you embarrassed to wear it though on the first day? No, well, no, I wasn't embarrassed. It was different. Mm -hmm. And my main concern was, oh my goodness, all my friends are going to see me and they never saw me in the scarf before. Mm -hmm. They're going to be asking me all these questions and I'm not going to know how to answer. Oh my but God, it know. wasn't it wasn't like wasn't that. Like that? No. Were you ever bullied for it though, you think? <laughs> Never. Never. Yeah, cuz a lot of times like just because you're different, kids could be me. Well, none no. of my friends were Well, I feel like I grew up in well, I grew up in Philadelphia. Yeah. So a lot of people I mean, you know, there's a lot of Muslims in Philadelphia. Right. So 
even growing up, some of my, like a lot of my friends have Muslim mm -hmm. aunts, Muslim uncles, Muslim cousins, and then a lot of my friends were Muslim. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like, you know. But you know, like in America though, sometimes like, just because you know there's terrorists or something like that, they kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Did it affect you at all? Like in any way, living in America? I mean, it does. Good. Do you ever get like really upset? Not really upset, but I guess you do get upset just because. No, I mean like you notice mm. the way, you notice how, okay, you know how you go somewhere and you're walking somewhere and you can feel that yeah, you're different. Yeah. And even though people might not say anything or they might not even look at you different, but you can just feel the vibe. Yeah. Oh my because god. You know those differences. But that's so not fair because oh my god, we're so close with like we know your whole family. You know, we've met like everybody, your like your parents, mm -hmm. your sisters, and everything. We're close. Mm -hmm. And oh, I think it's so racist. Like I, I remember do you remember like Virginia Tech, whatever, back in the day that, that the Korean. Oh guy? yeah, the um the mass shooting that he did. When that happened? They were like, don't mess with Koreans, you know, they have the weird look. They were like that at one point, you well, know? I mean, you have to think about how, like, how we think as humans. Why would we think to judge yeah, a, whole, right? a whole race or a whole culture off of one person? Even though we have, believe in different gods or whatever, like, stuff that she does, sometimes it's like... I remember we went somewhere, I went somewhere, and then you were with Daddy Tang, look, she likes it. <laughs> And um, I remember, was it during Ramadan that you were praying? Like you face certain wall that you were praying? I yeah. Can't... Well, is that like every day? Yeah, we pray every day. Oh yeah. So she was praying, and I said, "Wow, that takes a lot of guts to do that in front of everybody. Like a certain, you know?" Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have to think about it. What's more important? God, I'm so sorry. I'm sweating. Do you see? I'm like sweating, and she's not even sweating. I sweat so much in my face when I eat something good. I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> this is the. <laughs> I don't, I don't have some more, but um, I really love the sauce. I do too. I never thought that the you could put vinegar favorite. and you could make it this amazing. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Is that marinara sauce? Huh? A tomato sauce. A tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Baby, you like this? Isn't it good? See, Peppy likes it, and it doesn't even taste like when you when I taste the rice, it was just all together, just really good all together. Mm. Do you want to try it? <laughs> Ember gets scared. She only likes kimchi, rice and kimchi. It tastes really good. You have to try it first. Yeah. And, try then, it? and then say you like it or you don't like it. Mm. Just try it first. Mm. I, I'm gonna ask you. You know how you 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 know me for so long. You see my YouTube videos, right? <laughs> Wait, is this one of those questions I have to answer? <laughs> no, it no. Because honestly, it's not my fault. You can blame AT and T. Oh God! <laughs> the network never worked. <laughs> All right. Then. I go on the YouTube video, mm -hmm. and then um, I'll click it, mm -hmm. and I think I got the furthest today, like because I clicked it, uh -huh. and it actually started loading, but the video never actually started playing. <laughs> so I sometimes wonder, like, you know, I'm the, really the next one, I'm like, I'm the sauna. <laughs> but you know, I was thinking because. You know, like the viewers see me for the first time through the camera, but you know, like you, you've known me for so long that I wonder what you guys think of me. You know what I mean? When you guys see me behind YouTube camera, I just thought I'd be kind of. Well, I can't. Uh, so I like. I can't believe that. Like I'm doing a cooking show on YouTube because that's crazy. Right? God, guys. <laughs> I'm telling. I'm telling you, you, guys. If you want her back again, show us another Arab food. Oh my gosh. You got to tag under. Tag Team Miriam. Okay. Team Miriam. Yeah. Tag. Team tag, Miriam. Tag. And I'll have her again. And the next time, maybe you could do dessert. Don't get me started. <laughs> I love food. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dessert. Like, what's really like famous dessert? It's like baklava. It's like it's like you know baklava. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, we have that in Egypt too. Mm. So many different like varieties. Mm -hmm. So many different kinds. Mm. But that like takes like. I don't even know like how it would start making that. And you can make that vegan? I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Mm, I'm so hot. Aren't you hot in here? Just me? Feels so good in here. <gasps> yeah. We need to ask you to babysit soon. Me and Daddy Tang, we need to go out again. <laughs> we have it. And we always call her like the last minute, right? Last minute. Like, can you do it? She's like, alright. And we come home really late and she's still here. 
But your kids are like awesome. Aww. They're so much fun. I know, because I was just thinking on the way over here, like, oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've seen them. I know. Like, I missed you guys, honestly. Mm -hmm. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All I'm right. like ready for seconds, though. <laughs> guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you tag. That was so fun. Yeah, and she'll come back. I swear she'll come back, but she's always my, she's my good friend. So, thank you, Miriam. Thank you. That was so sweet. I want to give you a hug, but I'm sweating. Oh, God. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you. It's this way. Like oh. This. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Jaden, do you want some? Wow. Like because honestly, I grew up here and my mom's American, so yeah. everything Egyptian cooking that I know mm -hmm. like, will come from my dad. And my dad has five sisters six sisters oh my God. Crazy. Yeah. i think he has like five or six sisters mm -hmm. but and so he learned like cooking from them so oh my God. i mean they're better cooks than he is but. does he cook Don't tell him a that. lot my dad yeah yeah he does and he's a great cook oh. <laughs> he learned cooking from them so all the cooking that i know like the way i make rice comes mm -hmm. from him and that comes from the way he learned it from his sisters and the yeah. way they learned it from their mom and you know the oh, way this smells really good like, it smells like i know chill. right the funny thing is though, <coughs> usually when I eat food, I crave kimchi because, I don't know, I just do, but I'm not even craving kimchi right now. That's the weirdest thing. You know why? Maybe because of the tomato sauce. Oh, yeah. It's really good. But you would never think that you would use vinegar so much for like a main, like a main ingredient. Mm -hmm. Like it really changes the way the tomato sauce tastes. Oh my god, like yeah. Definitely should try it. All the Asians watching me, definitely, definitely try this. <laughs> so how long does it the Ramadan last to when? Mm, well, it's like it's thirty days oh. because it's, it well, it follows the lunar calendar. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we, so yeah, it's usually for thirty days, but it's the our holiday is our holiday is mm -hmm. it should be Wednesday. It ends this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Is everyone gonna like celebrate with food? Yeah, well, you know what they do? Mm -hmm. Usually, like, um, well, from what I know, mm -hmm. it's like during Ramadan because you eat so much meat, mm -hmm. you know, to keep full and everything. Mm -hmm. And our holiday, like, during the Ma. Eid, you eat fish. Like, you would make wow. a really big fish, like, a really big fish dinner, a really big seafood dinner. Ah. So, Ramadan, do you just, like, eat a really big breakfast and a really big dinner? So let's say you are, let's say, let's yeah. say you're Muslim, but you don't follow uh, Ramadan, is it bad? Mm -hmm. It's bad, like the Muslims will look at you bad? Yeah, well, because it's not like, a, you, like you, as a Muslim, you don't have a choice. Like yeah. you have to fast. Oh. And if you don't fast, then you're like deliberately like defying like your Lord. But I've seen girls though. Wait, is, yeah, my Korean friend, she, was actually she she just go to church and she married this guy all of a sudden she just became muslim so one day really? i saw her is, is that can you do that can you convert mm -hmm. yeah and one day i saw her and then she had what was this called again the uh hijab the hijab she had the hijab on so i was really? like what in the world and she was like hi and i was like one of the, and then she told me that she got married and then now she changed so i wasn't sure that if you could i thought i didn't even know that that was allowed my mom converted oh really yeah like my dad was born muslim and my mom converted oh mm -hmm. so, you, so you have to wear the hijab if you are muslim. well yeah you're yes. supposed to wear it okay so but you know what you know how some girls have it really like all the way black all the way what is, is it different is it good well that's their choice oh. like if they want to you know what I mean? That's their choice. It's not mandatory, but uh -huh. it's mandatory that you like cover your hair and cover up, mm -hmm. just so like you're not putting yourself out there and so right, guys right. aren't all over you and lusting mm -hmm. over you. Because if a guy you know lusts over you, right? Because you're wearing something like revealing or something, you know how like you know how guys act. Yeah. You hear stories about people, and mm -hmm. that's just the nature of humans. Oh. So, oh wow. <laughs> Like, do I, no do I sound what, dumb asking these questions though, really? No, because you know what? A lot of people don't ask those questions and they start to assume. Oh. And then that's when they get the wrong ideas and then they don't know anything. So I did so good I today then. Miss Miriam, my question. What happens if you don't wear it? If you don't wear it? I mean, nothing happens. But do you have really but, I mean, yeah, yeah, how about to your brother? Do you, can you show it to your brothers? 
Like you have a yeah, brother? Yeah, brother. Like you can show. You like your can, cousin? No. No? Just you can show it. Okay, because you can uncover in front of people like you can't get married to. Like you, you're ah. permitted. You're permitted to marry your cousin, so you have to cover up in front of your cousin. You are permitted. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Do people? I mean, marry their cousins. Some people. Ah. But you want to be dating them. I literally had like four serving. Well, I don't want to date my cousin. You yeah. do? No. I think it's more probably like America. It's not accepted, but maybe you know back in. I mean, in some parts of America, people probably do marry their cousins. <laughs> I'm sure. Wait, can um, I have some? No, try it. Try it first. Now because I just thought that you know, how, you know how like some girls wear just like you. Then some girls really cover like only only their eye. I thought it was some different religion. I swear. I was, no, I had no people, idea. No, a lot of people wear it different ways. I guess it's like it depends on how like, mm -hmm. like how strict you are. Right, right. Oh. Because you know, how, even for your husband, your husband might want you to do that. Maybe. Well, yeah. I mean, if your husband wants you to do it. Oh, really? She uncovered in front of me. Wow. Well, she's not going to marry you. You're a girl. I mean, because I wanted to see her red hair. That's when she had red hair. The baby's mm. like, <laughs> <laughs> She promised me and she did. Yeah, that's but we're all same. You know what? We're all I same. Know so, can like both genders wear a hijab? No, no they don't have to. Like, Boys have to cover like from their navel to their knee. Like they can't show between there. Uh, Maybe it was like the fashion? <laughs> No, I'm saying people no. wear it for fashion. Like a lot of times, no, I think you'll men change. grow beards, and because usually Muslim men will like grow their. Beard Wait, but, but let's say one day I decide to wear it just for the fashion purposes. Would you get offended? No. I mean, if you did it, and, if you did it, and it was like disrespectful. Yeah. Then I would be offended if okay. you were like trying to disrespect me or trying. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. If your intention is not bad, then yeah. I don't see what's the harm in it. Oh. Ah, see, I'm learning a lot today. The next time I see you, I know, I know everything behind it now. <laughs> I'm gonna use your fork. Oh my god. So, see, I have, we have a lot left. So, if we, oh my god, seriously, I hate half. If the, I mean, what do you, what can I do? Just put it in the container. Yeah, just put it in plastic wrap. And or then just, just next day, just reheat just it. Wrap it up, yeah. Oh. I love that sauce. Oh my gosh, the I sauce do. Sauce is so good, and I love, cause I love garlic. So if it was me making it like for just myself, I would overload it with garlic. Oh really? You know what though? Because I love garlic. Even, even if you just eat this without the pasta and the lentil, just the sauce and just rice, it's still good. Yeah. If you wanted to like eat simple or something. I mean, well think about it. You can, well, there's one, another Egyptian dish, mm -hmm. like Arab dish, mm -hmm. that uses the same sauce. So like you can use the same sauce for even for different meals. Yeah. Oh my god. I for different dishes. I would definitely make this with rice next time. What I'm saying is, if I was really lazy and wanted to have the same flavor, mm -hmm. you just make rice and then. Yeah. The sauce. Mm. <sighs> this is good. Sorry. I'm gonna get this on my. <laughs>